Hi folks, uh, <coughs> wet the paper, this is Fabriano, bit of a mountain scene or Okay, no need to stretch your paper, you can just reclip it. Custom and watercolours, so I'll put a bit of a sienna wash over it. There's a lot of water on there, probably a bit too much. So I'll put a bit of sienna in there as well. And a bit of bit light red. Now, got plenty of colour. I've just put some uh, fresh ultramarine in there. And you'll find that this, this will dry a lot lighter just as well. Oh, we'll sort of concentrate the light in the, in the middle of this. Got really mad there. Okay, and while that's uh, settling down, a sweet tea. <coughs> okay, now let's let, I'll put in some bit of mountain on, on this one need thick paint if you're all working over wet you need quite a bit of thicker paints otherwise it won't register a bit of it is really on there Have a bit of green now. A bit of cajello. Now we're coming to the foreground, so we need to go with warmer colours. Not too warm there. Look at that, almost like acrylic. Bit of water showing in these sort of shadows here. Use the card in a minute. Okay, this is sort of having having fun with with the paint. We can gently scrape over the high spots with with the card. Get a bit more texture in this distance.
Too easy to go a bit wild with the scraping out. But it's a great way to paint rocks, minimum of sort of effort. Be a little bit creative with it. And then we can dead wood. lift out a bit of that when well, that's dry. That's all dried off now. Just lift out some of that. Some of that here. Let's just go a little bit. Okay. Uh, don't really want to put any reflections there. There's a little bit there. But, uh, no, I'm going to leave that. Right, okay, so let's put in a bit of, bit of greeny stuff. Shadow in these, this brush. A little bit of water to me coming in there. I'm using my new microphone stand with my uh, or well, figure be made boom instead of the one that they supplied. Okay. Alright. Bit of grass is sticking up here. Sort of says reflection. Put in some few trees on here. 
I don't really want to over elaborate this. in there was like that's it. Mm. I suppose it's any the worse for it. Okay, we've got a sort of a some something going on there. I'm going to dry that now. So the headphones off. It's a bit of detail. I'll get my white gouache and a small rigger. Just squeeze it out a little bit. It's getting a bit worn now, a bit old. It's probably three years old. But I want to just put in Few bits of uh, to white in there. Okay. Uh, no, nothing there. Put the lid back. A little bit of bit of bit of dark Oops. Signature on there. Okay. There we are. Got a picture. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. That's uh, a little bit different. Uh, don't, I could dry brush a bit of that colour on there. In fact, I think I will. So bear with me, just uh, dry it. Remember, a, a, a demonstrator used to come to Carshalton and Wellington Art Group. 
who I was a member for many years, Ken Birkinshaw, the local painter, he's dead sadly, he'd, he'd, do, he'd demonstrate, uh, I suppose, uh, half imperial. And when it was dry, at the end it dried, he would knock up uh, some dilute raw sienna and, and gently wash it all over. And it, it just seemed to have a bit of, bit of magic about it. I'm not going to do that. Um, it's fine disturbing the paint, but uh, but he got away with it, and it was a great great effect. So this a uh, bit of dry brush, so a bit of bit of that uh, sienna, touch of red, and just. Okay, we'll just let that go, I think. Yeah, okay. So we've got that, that light reflected on the on the still water rather than the broken water. Uh, so that, that being so, we should put in some good reflection in this too. Okay, I'm going to let that go. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye bye.